YouTube family, friends, and everyone. Hey, this is Mama Selena, and today I'm doing a video by myself. It's gonna be a quick video, it ain't gonna be nothing long. But what I'm gonna do today is talk about let's talk about parents, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things, all the bad things that can be. Let's talk about parents. Okay, I ain't going to give y'all nothing on talent or anything like that. But I have, I'm going to do a video today. And it's going to be about parents. Okay, and first of all, I want to show y'all a picture of my parents. This is a picture of my dad and a picture of my mom. I don't know if y'all can really see it. Hold on one second. Let me get big again. What I just do? Okay. So, uh, I probably have to come up so I'm done. My mom, she is Blackfoot Indian. And my dad, he's black. My mom name. My mom name. Is, sorry, is Johnny Lee Burton. She's from the South. My dad name was Henry. Uh, he's from the South as well. So, as you can see, I had two great parents um, that did a lot for me and did a lot for my siblings as well. My dad and my mom was really, really good parents. They wasn't together um, as I was being raised, but they co-parented very well. Um, my mom, she was a great mother. She was a beautiful person. Uh, her personality was great, always smiling, didn't want no, nothing to do with drama, anything like that. She was a really, really, really good person. My dad, same thing. He just didn't take no mess. He didn't play with my mom. My mom didn't play much either. But my dad, um, no, he didn't take no mess at all. You know, and what I love about my parents is that they raised me right. They raised me to have manners, have respect for my elders, um, stay out of drama as much as I can, out of trouble as much as I can, get an education, which I did, and make something out of myself, which I did. Um, so I had really good parents. My, my dad, great, great man. He did not miss a beat. Now, both of them lived in Ohio, um, but they was from down south. My mom lived in Cleveland. My dad lived in Defiance, Ohio. But he lived in Cleveland before Defiance. Um, so, like, whenever my kids had something, my mom really couldn't come to him. But she did come to Fort Wayne a couple of times to visit. My dad, my dad didn't miss a beat at all. He didn't miss a beat for anything. Uh, graduations, birthday parties. In every holiday there is um, where we're cooking or we we'll go down there where he's cooking um, just to come up here just to see how we doing fishing trips out of town trips you name it we did it with my dad they call my dad big hen because he was a really big guy um, and he had a lot of people had a lot of respect for him a lot of respect you know, being a parent, people think being a parent is easy. No, it's not being, it's not easy. It's not an easy task at all. Being a parent is hard. It's how we make it look easy, but it's not easy at all. It's hard, you know, as you all know, I'm a mother of seven kids, and I raised my kids well. You know, I'm, I'm a great mom. I really am. You know, I'm not going to say I'm the perfect mom because I have made mistakes. You know, and this and that and the other, but uh, trust and believe my kids, they was raised well. They know how to respect people, um, stay out of people way. They respect their elders, and um, they are very close to each other. I raised my kids to be a close-knit family because that's how I was raised by my mom and dad. And that's how I raised my kids, you know. Um, I made sure I always had a job to where, you know, I didn't really have to depend on much when it came down to taking care of my children. Now there's times that you probably do need assistance who don't need assistance at times and I'm not ashamed to say it, you know, but when you get yourself on your feet, you know, which I basically stayed on my feet. Now one time I didn't have a job, I made sure my kids had everything that they needed. 
need it, not want it, need it. There's a difference. They can get some wants, but you're going to have the needs. A roof over your head, food, clothes. I made sure I had a car to make sure that they can get back and forth to school or wherever, wherever else we had to go. I made sure of that. You know, so my kids was raised right. Now, as I said, parenting is not easy. I don't know uh, why people think that it is easy because it's not. Um, but at the end of the day, we're parents and we have to do what we have to do for our kids. I don't put my kids in harm's way. I don't put my kids in um, situations that they're not supposed to be in. Um, if I'm having a situation, trust me, my kids would not know why because it's not their business. You know, because my kids, they, they, they ride. And that's just how, you know, my kids is, you know. But I don't do a lot of, I don't do like negative stuff around my kids. I, I don't do negative stuff, period. But going out and stuff like that, no, I didn't do because I felt like, okay, I have kids now. Now I go out to eat every once in a while with my friends, whatever. But as far as like having my butt in the club, clubbing it with my kids, no, no, we don't do that. We don't do that because I'm the parent. And I don't need to be clubbing it, kicking it, smoking weed, or anything else with my kids. And I ain't knocking people that do do it because they some people prefer for their kids to do it at home than out in the streets, whatever. I get that. I don't knock nobody for that at all. You know, that's your thing. That's your skill. That's what you do. You know. Um, me and J. Michael, uh... We, uh, Darion lived with us, okay, and is it easy raising a teenager? Mm, it is, but then again, it's not. He's just becoming a teenager, you know. He's stepdad, everybody know that, even though he don't call being his stepson, he call him son because he's like, like my dad. My dad never believed in calling other kids that he raised, stepkids, he always called them his kids, period, point blank. You know, you're going to be with the mom, you're going to treat the kids as if they're your own. Because if not, then you can hit the dough just like anybody else can, you know. Um, he helps take care of Darion, you know. He, he helps him, you know, raise him to, like, do man stuff, manly stuff, you know. Even though I can do it, you know, but it's always good to have that second person, you know. You know, excuse me. It's always good to have a second person um, to help out as well if they're in the household. You know, and if my siblings, if his siblings was here, they'll still help out as well. You know, because that's what we do. We just raise kids. And I'm not understanding some situations that's going on. Uh, I'm just going to address a few. It ain't going to be a lot. Because like I said, I'm not on here on YouTube um, to pick a fight, no drama, no anything, but I do have to set some things straight because I've been, um, it's been too long now, you know, and I'm, I'm to the point now that I don't put my child in awkward situations that he don't need to be in. You know, if no one have anything nice to say or praise him on his basketball or whatever it is that he's doing good, just keep his name out, out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing negative about him at all because my son does nothing to no one. He doing nothing but being a kid, doing what kids do and all this and that. He don't bother nobody. He stay in his own lane, do whatever, but he don't bother nobody. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, when it comes down to parenting, I co-parent well with my father, the kid's father. Now, if they don't want to co-parent with me, I mean, that's fine and dang, but I have, as long as I've been, my kids, I've never had a problem with co-parenting at all. Now, there is times that, um, some things may occur, you know, to where the kids can't, you know, do certain things with their dad or whatever, but who would take that, who would take that at heart and that offense to it? No one. No one at all. I don't think, you know, because I never really had a problem. I mean, until, like, recently. Like, when do we start parenting on YouTube? When do we start putting our business that we do about our, our child on YouTube? We never did. We never did. That's what a, a phone is for. And even though, you know, there hasn't been no conversation since that last situation, there still should be no reason why 
Darion is being played tug of war on YouTube. I don't need YouTube people to tell me what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong about my child. I don't need nobody to praise me on what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong about my child. Because I know what I'm doing with my child. You know, and there should be no reason on the other end either. To where you have to get that type of attention to say, hey, you know, you're doing the right thing. You're a great dad. You this, you that. No one take fatherhood from nobody. You can't take fatherhood from no one. You want to walk away from a child, then that's so be it. So be it. But at the end of the day, you're still a father. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You, um, people in general cannot get mad if there's another person that's in a household help to help raise their child. You know, that's a bonus right there, to be honest, because it's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just double the love, you know, work. It's work. Everybody needs to work together. I don't believe in all that drama. I don't believe in that. When it comes out of my kids, I definitely don't believe in it. I definitely don't believe in putting the crap on YouTube at all. I don't. You know, uh, for instance, I'm just going to be honest about a rumor that was said that um, I said that my son can't come to Houston because he get used for his videos. Now, let me make one thing clear. Whenever he do it a, 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 from now on, whenever he do a, a, a video with anyone, he's going to get paid for it. And I'm going to make sure of that. And it's, hey, I mean, it's just it's all about being fair to him because he is like a little young entrepreneur. We're trying to get him molded to, you know, he got his own little business going on, which is YouTube. And he like it. He like what he do and this and that and the other. And he's not about to just do any favors for He's not about to do any favors for anyone at all, um, you know. So whenever he be in whoever videos, it doesn't even matter. He's going to he's going to get paid for it, you know. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back. Yeah. So I want. I, I you know what. Sometimes I'm always trying to be the peacemaker because I don't like drama because it's like Darion is, is, is in tug of war. There's J. Michael. There's his dad. There's J. Michael. There's his dad. And I've gotten on J. Michael also. So he, he ain't safe either. And I just want to let y'all know before y'all sit there and y'all say, oh, you know, he just she, she just taking up for J. Michael because that's her dude and this and any other. No, 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 no. When it comes down to my child, at the end of the day, I have to put, to put my foot down. And I've done it before, and I'm now doing it again. You know, like I said, you know, if, if, even when he do videos with J. Michael now, you know, because we're teaching him how to be a little businessman, he going to get paid off of that as well. I mean, so every, no one's different. No one's, you know what I'm saying? And if you take it personal, you take it at heart, then God bless you. Because I'm not about to sit here and... Let him just do videos, just be doing videos, and then he don't get paid for it. If he can get paid by YouTube for doing videos, he can get paid by people that he's in his in the um, videos with. No one else had a problem, have a problem with, you know, paying him. So no one should have a problem. Plain and simple, and this is his mother speaking on this. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody. It's, this is his mother because at the end of the day, I got to be fair to my child. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back at hand with the the um, summer Houston thing. Okay, so as you all know, he played for AAU. This year he's going to high school. High school have already started their basketball practice and um, starts up like that. So he's still in AAU. I'm not going to let him miss no, no, no more AAU because even when he don't, be in the games, we still have to pay. That's money coming out of our pocket that we have to pay. Like I said, he's already started with practicing with his new team at his new high school. On top of that, he's going to summer school to get him prepped and ready for high school because last year is the only the only year I have not put him in summer school. And it's not because he needs have summer school, it's because I want him to go to summer school. He's going to summer school so he can be prepped for high school. On top of that, I'm a family 
um, planner and I, I planned our family vacations. I've already planned our family vacation. I planted that last year and it's for this year. We're going to three different places and Florida is one of them. And he's going, he's not going to miss out. Not this time, he's not going to miss out. So he have a lot of things going on. So whoever gave the rumor, stop lying on me because I know for a fact I never said nothing like that. There, I, there should be, okay, let me stop right here. With my father, and I can speak about this man all day long because that's how great of a man he was. He was well respected. He had no problem with getting us at all. He had no problem with taking care of us, nor did he would pay my mom child support and I won't even know because he'll still take me shopping and still give me money. And then he gave my mom child support and I won't even know because he didn't brag about it. He didn't have to brag about it because if you're a parent, you don't brag about what you have done for your child. You don't do that. I don't do it. I'm not going to sit there and be like, well, I bought him this. I bought him that. I won't do it because at the end of the day, I'm being a parent. You know, so there's no need for anyone to sit there and say what they bought and this and that and the other. No one's trying to take fatherhood away from no one at all. At all. So the bragging about what was bought for him and stuff like that. At the end of the day, I mean, it's not like it's, I don't know what it is that he got, but it's not like, I mean, it's, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I don't know about that. But, um, I, my father never bragged on what he did for my mom, for us. I never bragged what I did for my kids at all. And my kids' fathers never bragged about what they have done for their children either. Because your father, at the end of the day, you're going to, you, you have to do what you have to do to help the mother out. You know what I'm saying? That goes for any father. Not just his father. It goes for any father. Any mother. You know, do what you have to do to, to make sure everything is taken care of for that child. I'm not going to put my child in a situation to where um, he is being pulled, pulled back and forth. That, this is just starting to get on my nerves now. And... Excuse me, y'all. I've been up. I'm sorry. I've been up since I went to bed at like 5.30 this morning because I was up watching all type of stuff. So I couldn't go to sleep. And then plus I, um, I was just thinking about what I was going to cook today for Sunday dinner. Because my son is coming down. We took Bean um, to um, visit his siblings and nap and he's bringing him back home today so I promised him I'll make a meal for him and, and so that's what I've been doing so I'm a little tired and so if you hear me rambling please forgive me I'm, I'm a bit tired you know I am um, but yeah as I was saying um, excuse me men is, men is still do not get along at all you know as I was saying you know don't brag about what you've done for them no one needs to know what you've done for your child. No one. Because at the end of the day, to be honest, they don't even care. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do out of the out because you're his father, because you a father. And I'm speaking on anybody, not just that father. I'm speaking on anybody. Do what you have to do because you are a parent. Don't do what you have to do so you can get cool points and get kudos. You ain't gonna get no cool points my way at all because you're supposed to do it anyway. You know, and people say money don't change. Money, money do change people. Money change people a lot, and, and I'm, I see it. I, I see it every single day. Trust me when I tell you, I see it every single day. Money don't change me. Reason being is because at the end of the day, like I said, I have five dollars in my pocket, and y'all will never even know because I won't. I'm, I'm not gonna ditch it out to y'all to let y'all know what type of money I got. You know what I'm saying? As long as my bills and and everything is paid, I'm cool. Hey, so it is what it is, you know, so, but money do change people, so don't sit there and say money don't change people, it do, and there's no, there's no, I'm not throwing shade at nobody, this is just in general, so how, whoever want to take it, however they want to take it, take it the way you want to take it, I don't care, you know, at all, I, I don't care, but back at hand with the sermon situation, so whoever the rumor came from, um, don't lie on me, because if, it's something that I need to tell his father, uh, which I will. I'm not going to put it on YouTube. 
I won't put it on YouTube because it's nobody's business at all. I would text or I would call. I have a phone number and I would let them know. Okay, this is this is um, what's going on this year. This is what's going on. This is whatever the situation may be. I don't have to put this on YouTube because we're not, YouTube is not raising this child. We're raising this child. You know what I'm saying? Stop the BS. Everybody, stop it. That goes for everybody. Just stop it. Either y'all gonna get along and help raise this child or stay the hell out of our way. It's that plain and simple. Because, like I said, I don't put nobody in my in my kids' life that ain't gonna benefit that they're not gonna benefit from. No one's trying to take nobody's place in their in their fatherhood, motherhood, or anything else. Like I, I have kids that call me mom because I have helped raise them. Or they when they spend out of my house, I'm a good parent to them while they're in my house and stuff like that. They they moms or dads don't sit there and be like, oh, she's trying to take our child away from us or this and that. Nothing like that at all. At the end of the day. And this is why I get along with my other kids' dads because when you co-parent good, this is what happens. This is the outcome of it. You know, I don't answer to no one when it comes out to Darian. I don't answer to no one when it comes out to my other kids because at the end of the day, I've done the majority of the work of raising these kids. I've, I have done the majority of everything in raising these kids. Give myself a pat on the back. Hell yeah, I'm going to give myself a pat on the back because I've done good and I've done right. But... When you got a bonus parent in there, respect that. You know what I'm saying? Respect that. Just respect that. It's just that plain and simple. You know, if, if they're not putting your child in no harm's way, if they're not trying to turn your child against, and that's another thing I don't play with. If they're not trying to turn your child against you or whatever, let it be. Whatever y'all got personal going on, let that be. That's between y'all two. Y'all sell it. People, grown-ups is grown-ups. Y'all sell it like grown-ups and not like no damn teenagers. But leave the children out of it. And that's another thing I never have done. I never talk back. And no matter what me and that person history was or whatever, I won't talk bad about the um, dad. Why? Because that's not my place to do that. I would never, because when you talk bad about a parent, that make that child start looking at that parent differently. And they make that child start dis being disrespectful towards that parent. Like, oh, wow, ooh, we. No, I don't do that. I don't talk bad about nobody's father. Why? Because, and they have done, they probably have done it to me, but I don't care. I don't play tits for time. I'm too old for that. But eventually when they get older, they will see with their own two eyes how their parent, their other parent is. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're a good parent and you play a good role in your, in your child's life, they're going to remember that. And they're going to honor that and they're going to respect that. If you're a bad parent and they see that, they're going to remember that too. And they're going to not too much respect to kind of shine away from it. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't believe in, I never believed in talking bad about nobody's parent, um, father. That's just something I don't do. I won't do it. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm upset with that person, I'm still not going to be like, guess what your daddy did, isn't it? Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. I won't do it. Because that's that's not the type of person that I am. Because at the end of the day, I want my kids to still love their father. Because they, at the end of the day, they still their father. You know? So, like I said, parenting is not easy. Parenting has no rules. But parenting, and parenting is not easy either. So, I think I said what I said and I spoke what I spoke. And like I said, it wasn't nothing truly against anyone in particular. But at the same time, I had to clear up a, clear up a few things because I don't do stuff on YouTube. That's just something that I don't do at all. I think that's very, to be honest, a little disrespectful to do stuff on YouTube because the first thing people be sitting there thinking like, damn, they don't get along like that or they ain't such and such guy in between their relationship or they ain't look at this, look at that. No, 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 no. Certain things need to be on YouTube. So I don't know how many times I've said this on a video. Well, whatever video I've been on. Certain things is meant to be on YouTube. Certain things is not. If you want views and attention, that's fine. Get it all you want to. But don't get it in the, in the, uh -huh, in the presence or in the aspect of mine. Don't do that. Because that, that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Darion's a young kid. He's doing what he is supposed to do. He respect all his parents very well. You know, don't don't talk bad 
about nobody don't you know and he's one of them kids that if you're gonna be his friend be his friend don't be his friend because of he got because he's a semi-celebrity on youtube be his friend because you want to be his friend and he have a very genuine friend he got a lot of friends but he got very you know good friends or whatever you know give him that same respect because at the end of the day he's not a thing he's not a material he's a child he's a child Money don't buy love, and money definitely, definitely don't pay being a parent. Mm -mm. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, money helps, you know, but at the end of the day, it, it, it don't buy love. You can't buy love with money when it comes out to kids. You know, give them your, your un, uninvited attention your love, your support on, on whatever it is that they're doing. Give them your support. Because when you give that child their your support, when you give that child your support, they're going to honor that. And they're going to they gonna remember that. And they're going to be like, oh, wow, you know what I'm saying? I remember when I was at such and such and such and such was here or I was here. And my mom them never missed a beat and this and that and the other. I'm not going to miss a beat on nothing that he do or anything that he do. Because everything that he do is because I put him in there. James not going to miss a beat at all. His father lives in Texas. So, come on now. There, there's a difference there. There's, 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 I'm not, I would never sit there and say, oh, you're being a bad dad because you didn't make it on this certain day or on his birthday or something like that. You live in Texas. That is 18, what, hours or so away. That's understandable. I've said it once. I've said it before. That's understandable. You'll see him when you can come down and see him. This ain't like going from New Haven to Fort Wayne and from Fort Wayne to Indianapolis. This is literally like practically a whole day of driving. If you're driving. If you're on the plane, that's something different, but I don't, I don't know. But anyway, so don't ever let a person make you feel like you're not doing being a good parent. Step parents, great. I commend you guys because I was a step parent before. I commend you guys. You know what I'm saying? I give you guys the utmost respect and honor you because you don't have to deal with anything with the children, but the fact that you're with that person, you have to participate. You have to be that other parent. You have to step in. It's not because the other parent is absent. It's because you're with that parent. And even if you're not living with that parent, y'all just going out or whatever, still be a good person to that child. You know, if you're not, then don't, don't be in their life. It's just that plain and simple. So I commend, like I said, I commend step parents because, you know, they, they do a lot. You know what I'm saying? And they, they take on a lot because when... It's a step parent. It's always some type of drama in there somewhere down the line. Should it have to be? No, but but it is. And that's just with any with anybody. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes people can't accept that it's another it's another person around their child. You know what I'm saying? And no matter how much somebody try to keep the peace, sometimes people can't accept that. You know, but then if you have you think about it, you know your child in their homes or your child is being raised right, your child, you know, is getting the attention that he need and this and that and the other, then respect that and honor that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying bow down and kiss their toes or anything like that because I wouldn't do it, but we just respect that, you know, because when I was a step-parent, I, yeah, yeah, I kind of had some words with some moms, but at the end of the day, like I told them, I'm not trying to take your place. I'm with their dad. And I'm going to do what I have to do as a mom. They're going to get treated just any, no different at all. I'm not going to treat them any different. The only thing I won't do, I won't put my hands on them. I'll tell them, hey, hey, handle that because such and such acting up or whatever. But as far as putting my hands on somebody else's child, no, I will not do that. I won't, you know, this, I will talk to them because that's, I, I'm good at that. You know what I'm saying? I will talk to them. But as far as like, you know, talking bad at them and stuff like that, I won't do that because at the end of the day, that child is somebody else's child. And guess what? When you bring that type of drama, to that child, that other parent going to come out of the woodworks no matter what. No matter what. So, I've never had a problem with J. Michael treating being bad. I never had a problem with him mistreating him at all. Period. Period. He cussing. No, none of that. At all. At all. You know what I'm saying? 
He have fun with the kids. This ain't just my son. This is his son and his kids as well. He have fun with them, you know, take them where they need to go, get their haircuts, whatever it is, video games, whatever that the boys like to do. He's there, he do it because he's a big kid himself. You know what I'm saying? And when they when his kids is over here, you know, I don't have no problem with the moms. You know what I'm saying? They, they know their kids is in good hands. They know their kids are going to be well taken care of. And whenever they see me, thank you so much. They'll see y'all next time and this and any other. Whenever I say, them, hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. This and any other. Cordial. Good. Have no problem. Have no problem at all. You know what I'm saying? At all. I don't want no beef. I don't want nobody to bring no beef to me. Especially when they come out to their own kids when I have my own. You know, so. Just, you know. I'm going to end this video. But I am going to say thank you for watching it. No, no, um, what you want to call it? No, I'm not throwing darts or, um, salt on anybody game or whatever the situation may be to where y'all think I am. It's just that I just had to get a few things clear and straight, you know, plain and simple. And I just want people to understand, you know, give my son respect. He don't bother nobody. And he tried to love everybody. His heart is just that big. You know, give him that respect. Give him that. And if you can't, then, like I said, don't mention him at all. Because at the end of the day, he still have parents. And their parents going to have his back. And, like I said, I'm not going to say no name on why I said that. Said, said that. Just know that it's, it's not nice to try to talk bad about kids at all. And to try to put a child down, you know, when you attack a child, that's just, that's just downgrading disrespectful. It really is. And you don't like what I'm saying. I mean, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not bitty badass, but at the end of the day, I'm going to speak my mind when it comes down to my kids. And that one right there, he don't bother nobody. I'm not going to let nobody disrespect him, period. Like I said, whatever, hey, however we do it is how we do it, but disrespecting Kids is not going to happen. Not on my watch. It ain't. Not on J. Michael. It ain't. And hopefully not on his father's. You know. So, with that being said, YouTube, I got to go in here, finish um, cooking my dinner. Watch the originals until Bing get here so we can eat our Sunday dinner. So, I'm going to say, um, peace out. All that good stuff. Like I said, if I look crazy, it's because I've been up. I'm tired. So, love you guys. Have a good day.